Google is updating something to Google Chrome that is killing ad blockers. On the Chrome Web Store, uBlock Origin, one of their biggest ad blockers ever, has this little tag on it, which talks about how it may no longer be supported on Google Chrome. So why is Google trying to get rid of ad blockers all of a sudden, especially at a time where YouTube is trying to block ad blockers too? We're gonna look into it in this video because there's a bit of a conspiracy to it as well as just an actual reason. Personally, I think it falls in between, so let's look into it. So you might have noticed uBlock Origin has this thing in the extension web store. It's the extension here with 40 million users, a lot, and it has this little mark here that says, this extension may soon no longer be supported because it doesn't follow best practices for Chrome extensions. So Google Chrome has put this little marker on here on one of their biggest extensions in the entire world, Adblocker. Why is that? Well, there's a few things going on here. There's an actual reason, and then there's the sort of conspiracy reason. The conspiracy reason is exactly what you'd think YouTube ads. You know, Google doesn't want to block ads because Google owns YouTube, but they also own Google. Chrome. So they of course don't want an ad blocker because like this is ad blocker that I have. I actually have uBlock Origin on Chrome. It blocks ads on YouTube. You know, you're not supposed to do that. You're, you actually break terms of service by doing that. Now I don't use this extension on YouTube itself, but the fact that it can do that, it's very bad for business for Google, but also people don't like that. People hate ads. So Removing this will understandably make people angry. Personally, if, to me, if you use Adblock on YouTube, I personally don't care, but you know, it's a, again, it's against terms of service, so <laughs> I don't endorse it. Now there's countless ad blockers on the Chrome Web Store, but uBlock Origin is the biggest by far, 40 million users. There's other ones though too. Like there's Adblock, the original Adblock has 63 million users, but it doesn't at all have a little marker here saying that it won't be able to be used. On the Chrome Store, it's branded as having YouTube. Stop ads on YouTube, and it's just allowed on the Chrome Web Store, which is wild to me, but I feel like there could be some antitrust kind of stuff if Google were to block it, but they kind of are trying to do that. So the real reason why it's happening is because of something called Manifest Version 3. So Manifest Version 3 is basically the stuff behind Google Chrome. Google's updating it to this new version. This site talks about it nicely here. Manifest Version 3 is Google's latest and upcoming update to its extension platform. It replaces some less restrictive APIs and new APIs. It says, for example, the current web request API being used by uBlock Origin enables visibility over the consumer's entire web traffic. And so now they're restricting things, which means they can't update uBlock Origin. It's just too complicated to do that. But uBlock actually has a fix for this. If you search for uBlock, there's like so many of these things. <laughs> Why are there so many? There's like, uh, but uBlock Lite is the new app that will work on version three, manifest version three. It actually says here, it's a permissionless manifest version three based content ad blocker. So that means a million people have to switch extensions to this. And do these million people know that this is happening? No. <laughs> Maybe they'll realize when they're watching on YouTube that their ad blocker doesn't work anymore and then they'll be like, oh, now I should switch. But this is like a little sneaky that Google's doing this, you know? They're blocking ad blockers by changing what makes Google Chrome run. Uh, but they're doing it kind of sneakily. Like it's not gonna break all ad blockers, but it's just gonna make them less efficient. It's all here on their developer page about it. Manifest version three. Uh, it's gonna happen, it seems, by June 2025 is when it's just gonna be finalized. So I guess that's a year from now, or, or at least half a year now. <laughs> I guess it's good to add certain improvements to extensions and stuff, a new APIs, new technology, but they should try to support the other apps. Like uBlock's, they're, I would argue, their biggest extension. It's gotta be, you know? So the fact that it's just getting phased out now and uBlock has to pretty much start over, kinda wild. Let me know your thoughts. Do you like ad blockers or do you agree with Google? No one agrees with Google. Thank you for watching, fly on.